I love Turkey, you know, and I have a lot of family members there. You know, my family is from there, my, my parents are from there. But, um, you know, I was born, I was born and, and raised up in Hamburg, and Hamburg was always good to me, you know. You know, it was um, good playgrounds, you know, for children, you know. It was, um, city never, city, city never treat me bad, <laughs> somehow, you know. It's, um, it would be wrong to say, like, I, Istanbul, Istanbul. This is a cliche, you know, it's like the desire, I don't have the desire. You know? and, and we live in such a globalized world, you know, if I have the desire too much, you know, I go on a plane and in two hours or three hours I'll be there, you know. But um, I, I love it there, you know, but it's not mine. There is, well, if we have bad luck, you know, with this, um, with this, after this election in two weeks, we will have a really, I don't know, liberal, neo-liberal state of mind, which is, I think, a very negative thing for Germany, you know. And if it goes positive, you know, if everything will be left, 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 you know. So, um, which will be a change, you know, because um, Germany hadn't been that left since a long time. And it was like what Obama says, change, 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 you know, let's change that, you know. And the, the uh, coalition between uh, Christian Democrats and uh, uh, liberates, we had that before, so it would be like a repeat. You see what I mean? It would be changed. So I'm more with Obama. You know, it changes. Yeah. You know. um, I think after North America, you know, Hamburg is the place where you can listen to the best soul music worldwide. After North America, you know, Berlin is more techno, you know, and and, and Paris is electro, you know. But um, I don't know what, what's, what, what they're listening to Rome. I know that the south of Italy is really like reggae stuff, you know? I, I, I was there in Bari. I had good parties in Bari. Salento. 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 And they have this group. They have this Italian ragamuffin group. Yeah. Yes, great group. I was on a concert of them in the south of Italy a couple of years ago. And, um, and the sound of Hamburg is so, you know? And um, we try to create... <laughs> There was a club called Mojo Club, very famous club. It's not existing anymore. We shot a scene in there. It's the scene where um, where Zenos tells to the waitress, "Go visit my brother. Go visit my brother." The scene is the bar is not existing anymore. Very famous uh, soul bar, you know. They closed it, you know, because they, they tear it down. And and um, the place under the bridge, you know, is a very soul area. You know, there are a lot of soul clubs right in there, you know. And uh, we tried to find, I like the music for sure, but it was also like um, that this could be the soundtrack of the city, but it's not just pure soul, it's like uh, Greek uh, Rembetico is also soul, you know, German Hans Albers music is also soul, you know, we soul in kind of wide angle thinking, you know. In, some, in one scene we had um, soul kitchen by the doors, you know, but it was too expensive so I had to change it, you know. <laughs> Or I had one song by Prince, yeah. you know, um, and because Prince had problems with Warner Brothers, you know, the slave yeah. and stuff, you know, yeah. so you could not get the rights. It was not a matter of, of money, it was like, because Warner Brothers and Prince were so much in trouble, you could not get the Warner Brothers tracks by Prince, you know. So we decided to take Curtis Mayfield on, this, on the scene yeah. where everybody makes love. It's a good alternative, no? Curtis Mayfield yeah. makes sense. So, <laughs> And I'm thinking about, it, you know, um, I think I won't do it, you know, because I'm a cinema kid, you know, I need this, you know, I, I don't know how to make it on stage. But because I like this dancing stuff, you know, I thought for, for a moment, like, maybe to do it, you know, because of, I like this dancing, mancing, you know, but, but it's not film, I need the camera, I need the sound system, I need the, the technical aspect. You know, I would feel naked if I, I wouldn't feel safe if I wouldn't have all this. Tools. A lot of years, a generation, like wannabe, wannabe this Herzog Bender style, you know, copy it, copy it, copy it, copy American cinema, you know, but now somehow they realize since like five or ten years to identify themselves with, with Germany and so they can express it, you know. They say um, the bigger crisis is somewhere, it's good for the cinema, you know. I had the discussion in, um, in Bologna last year, you know, because um, 
the owner of the Institute of the Cinematic in, in Bologna, he, um, he had a problem with Italy and the state of Italy and Berlusconi and stuff. And he was very, very angry. And I said, hey, it's good for your cinema. It's good for your cinema. Where? Where? Our cinema's gone. And that year, Il Divo was in Cannes and Gomorra was in Cannes. It was a great year for Italian cinema. Did you see both? Yeah, both, yes. Like yeah. yeah. <laughs> really strong, really innovative, really new, really new, new. You know, it was like, wow, I have not seen this, you know, gangster film stuff, you know. And Gomorrah is so different than everything you knew. And you know, in too, very, very visual, very good stuff. I hope and I expect that this will continue you know, because of your crisis. <laughs>